Hi, I'm John, the Banking Systems Engineer Termel, and I'm spending the next two weeks trying to convince important people to contact Davos and the participants there and at the World Social Forum and convince them that we should have a Unilets resolution for a time standard of money. Well, here's the information from Wikipedia on the World Economic Forum held every year in Davos of the world's rich who failed to come up with a solution year after year, but don't mind looking stupid. World Economic Forum at Davos, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. The World Economic Forum, WEF, is a Geneva-based non-product foundation best known for its annual meeting in Davos, Switzerland, which brings together top business leaders, international political leaders, selected intellectuals, and journalists to discuss the most pressing issues facing the world, including health and the environment and maybe finance someday. <laughs> in 2008, it launched the inaugural summit on the global agenda in Dubai, where 700 of the world's sector experts related to 68 global challenges, oh, the woes of the world, 68 of them, identified by the forum. Wow, they spent time identifying 68 problems. The World Economic Forum was founded in 1971 by Klaus M. Schwab, a business professor from Switzerland. Well, no wonder they never came up with any answers. Beyond meetings, the forum produces a series of research reports and engages its members in sector-specific initiatives. Wow, they're trying to do something. Organization. The forum is headquarters in Cologne, Geneva, Switzerland. It's an, it is impartial and not-for-profit and is not tied to any political, partisan, or national interests. It has observer status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council and is under the supervision of the Swiss federal government. Its highest government governance body is the Foundation Board, consisting of 22 members, including former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, the guy who lied Britain in the war with George Bush, and Queen Rania of Jordan. Well, I don't know what she's done bad. The Forum's mission is committed to improving the state of the world. <clears throat> And so far, they've failed at it, right? During the five-day annual meeting in 2009, over 2,500 participants from 91 countries will gather in Davos. That's in two weeks. Around 75% are business leaders drawn principally from the forum's members. A thousand of the foremost companies from around the world and across economic sectors. And a lot of them going bust. Maybe they want to listen to how to get an interest-free credit line to stay alive. More than 1,170 CEOs and chairpersons from the world's leading companies are participating in 2009. Gee, maybe a lot of them would like to try and save their jobs. Other major categories of participants from around the world include 219 public figures, including 40 heads of state or government, soon to be dethroned and unvoted for, I hope, 64 cabinet ministers, 30 heads or senior officials of international organizations, and 10 ambassadors, more than 432 participants from civil society, including 32 heads or representatives of non-governmental organizations, 225 media leaders, 140 nine leaders from academic institutions and think tanks, 15 religious leaders of different faiths, and 11 union leaders all getting together to fail to come up with a solution to the world's problems. Membership. The forum is funded by its thousand member companies. The typical member company is a global enterprise with more than five billion in turnover, although the latter can vary by industry and region. In addition, these enterprises rank among the top companies within their industry and or country and play a leading role in shaping the future of their industry or region. Well, I hope a lot of them are threatened enough to want to fix it. Activities. The forum's flagship event is the annual meeting held every year at the end of January in Davos. Participation at the annual meeting is by invitation only. All around 2,200 participants gather for the five-day event and attend some 220 sessions in the official program. The discussions focus around key issues of global concern, such as international conflicts, poverty. Oh yeah, they're really going to concentrate on poverty, all these rich guys, with Bill Gates in the room saying, hey, let's give them 5%. The Bill Gates solution and environmental problems and, and possible solutions. No kidding. Possible solutions. 
Gee, we haven't heard of any, but possible. You never know. Maybe this year. All plenary debates from Davos are available on YouTube. Pictures are available for free at Flickr. And key quotes are available on Twitter. In 2007, the forum opened pages on social media platforms such as MySpace and Facebook. At the annual meeting, 2000... I'll have to go leave a message, right? At the end... Unilex resolution, please. At the annual meeting 2009, the forum invited the general public to participate in the Davos debates on YouTube. Okay, I'm on my way. Allowing one user to attend the annual meeting in person. One. In 2008, the Davos question on the YouTube allowed YouTube users to interact with world leaders gathered in Davos who were encouraged to reply from a YouTube video corner at the Congress Center. Are you in favor of a time standard of money? A Unilets worldwide time standard of money system. In 2008, press conferences are live streamed on Quick and Mogulus, allowing anyone to put questions to the speakers. In 2006 and 2007, selected participants were interviewed in, and the closing session was streamed into, Reuters Auditorium in Second Life. Participants, Al Gore, Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, Bono, Tony Blair are also regular Davos attendees. Henry Kissinger, Nelson Mandela sometimes show up and where they have a chance to meet chief executives. Well, doesn't Henry meet the important ones at his Bilderberg conference? Young global leaders. In 2005, the forum established a community of young global leaders, successor to the global leaders of tomorrow, consisting of under 40-year-old leaders from around the world in a myriad of disciplines and sectors. Hey, maybe they'll understand the let software. The leaders engage in a 2030 initiative, the creation of an action plan for how to reach the vision of what the world could be like in 2030. Well, let's hope they're as bright as they sound. Social entrepreneurs. Since 2000, the forum has been promoting models developed by the world's leading social entrepreneurs entrepreneurs in close collaboration with the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship. The foundation highlights social entrepreneurship as a key element to advance societies and address social problems. Well, how do you have entrepreneurship without money? I wonder if one of the models is let's. Research reports. The forum also serves as a think tank and produces a series of annual economic reports, first published in brackets. The Global Competitiveness Report. The Global Information Technology Report. The Global Gender Gap Report. The Global Risk Report. The Global Enabling Trade Report. These present a cross-country analysis of the large number of measures facilitating trade between nations. Well, did they ever talk of using a community currency or a barter or a time-based barter unit to facilitate trade between nations? Bet not. Initiatives. In an effort to combat corruption, the Partnering Against Corruption Initiative PACI is a platform for peer exchange on practical experience, world inequities, using market forces to better address the needs of the full poor. Not address the needs of the poor, but to better address. Throwing in the word better just means you got to be a little better than worse, not necessarily good. So in other words, they ain't aiming high. Criticism. In the late 1990s, the forum, as well as the G7, World Bank, WTO, and IMF, came under heavy criticism by anti-globalization activists who claimed capitalism and globalization are increasing poverty and destroying the environment. Well, actually, in 1999, I picketed the WTO. I was at the battle in Seattle, except I took off every afternoon to cross the lake over to Redmond and picket Bill Gates at Microsoft with an abolish interest rate, set up a let sign. We never did. So I must have thought crazy engineer out front right with a picket sign. 1,500 demonstrators disrupted the World Economic Forum in Melbourne, Australia, obstructing the passage of 200 delegates to the meeting. The protest obstructors who have no alternatives to offer, and the only thing they can do is obstruct and tear down fences. I'm a protest instructor with an alternative to offer. That's why I go in a suit. I don't tear down fences. So, demonstrations are repeatedly held in Davos to protest against the meaning of fat cats in the snow, as rock singer Bono termed it. In January 2000, a thousand protesters marched through Davos, and during the demonstrations, the window of the local McDonald's was smashed. Hey, Naomi Klein must be happy. Hey, yes, sir, smashing windows. Starting with the annual meeting in 2003, an open forum Davos was held in parallel with the main annual meeting, opening up the debate about globalization to the general public. Sort of like the TOES conference, the other economic summit, which would go beside the G8 economic summit. So they've done the same thing, right? 
The Open Forum has been held in the local high school every year, featuring top politicians and business leaders, and is open to all members of the public, free of charge. That's right, but all the speaking slots are stacked by moles working for the banksters who aren't going to talk about money reform. Just like in the battle in Seattle. The annual meeting has also been decried as a mix of pomp and platitude and criticized for moving away from serious economics and accomplishing little of substance, particularly with the increasing involvement of NGOs that have little or no expertise in economics. Yeah, look at how the economists have really done good for the world and how can people who have no economics training want to put their hand to it too. <laughs> Instead of a discussion on the world economy with knowledgeable experts, alongside key business and political players, Davos now features the top media political causes of the day. And let's see if we can't influence these rich losers into winning.